Hello. Good, e good evening, teacher. Good evening, my dear students. And where are you? Here under a heavy storm. Yes, it is. But right now you're here in San Salvador. Yes, here I am in San Salvador. Okay, thank God. Yes, Hello, sir. Carito. Yesterday you, you were driving, right? Yes. Uh, yes, the, we were missing you a lot yesterday. And we were like, hey, what is Umberto? What is Umberto? And everything. <laughs> we were missing you a lot. But I told them that you were, that you were coming, that you were traveling. And so they, they stopped crying. <laughs> yeah so but it was it is it is nice that you could actually uh, made it yesterday well okay. it is a pleasure to have you here today under under this beautiful rain <laughs> a lot of water yes there's a lot of water carolina póngase una bufanda se me ve enfermar más <sighs> The microphone, Carito, it's off. The microphone is off. Sorry, sorry. Calor, teacher. I'm going to get calor. No, because it's going to give you air from the rain. It's going to be raining. Oh, de veras? No, nada. ¿Y a dónde es que vive? No, no. Ah, pues ahí va. Deja la mando por ahí. Ahí va. <laughs> Because here in San Salvador it's raining cats and dogs. Uh, that, that's a uh, phrase well, when you say that it's raining really hard. It's raining cats and dogs. And, until frogs could be, you say. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, sure. uh, yep. Uh, oh, I noticed that in that talk at a COVID test and thank you. Thank you. It was not uh, that. A COVID. Oh, thank that, God. Uh, thank yeah. God it was not that. Um, I was thinking about other it. Test, and the other test revealed uh, a strong urine infection, probably. Um, oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. you, you did you use uh, of the medication I take for his spinal uh, disease. Oh my God. Uh, and they only have uh, in me two days of the sick leave uh, and I'm already working tomorrow. Oh my God, <laughs> only three days of a stay, at, a stay at home and then you have to go back. Well, yeah. but thank God first that it was not COVID. That's a good thing that it was not COVID. And yeah. if it is an infection, you have to treat it well. You have to take all the medicine, the antibiotics and all that. You have to take it because, and you have to drink a lot of water if it is that. Yeah. Uh, I also, also yesterday, I passed a uh, patient uh, from 9 a.m. Um, until 6 p.m. Oh my goodness, <laughs> all the day. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so what skin of rest? I'll throw, I'll throw, um, I still don't feel, I feel cool, but no way. Yeah, but so try to, try to rest. We're going to do like some hands-on activities. We're going to do a lot of writing today, a lot of practice. So <clears throat> it's going to be beneficial for you to practice, not to speak that much, not to move that much and have a lot of water near there. Hello, Mr. Nelson, Cristia, Diana, Jose Carlos, Yvette. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good Ms. evening, Silvia. teacher. Hello, Cristia. Good Christia. evening, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Uh, very fine. Yes. I am very glad to hear that. Yes, Mr. I Juan de Dios. <laughs> you are fine. That's fantastic. Mr. Juan, looking elegant tonight. Elegancia, la de Francia. <laughs> you see, all of you are very elegant. Look at Mr. Nelson there, the, the, the camisilla formal. Eh? So, 
Hey, Bo. Hello, good evening. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Very good. Okay, very, I'm very glad to hear that. Well, thank you yes. students for being here on time. I always appreciate you being so punctual. And for sure, eh, as I always say, thank you for being here on time. ¿eh? Por ahí hay un cuete, alguien vive cerca de mi casa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard it both. I heard it here, here. And, and here. Lo oí aquí. Here, en, here, en el but in the igloo. We are sounding too. Yes, <laughs> so we, we are very close to each other. <laughs> Hagamos la presencia. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am going to invite your friends as well, that I always mention them, that we are in class waiting for them. We are all in the meeting, I'm going to say. And today I sent you a couple of things to the um, chat. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. I sent you a little homework that we are going to use. If you haven't fulfilled it, we are going to do it today. I sent you um, like a prototype for a business plan. It was something simple and it was not really, really complicated to fill up, but we're going to do it uh, during class. So this is what I sent you today. Let me see this one. This is the one that I sent you on the email. <clears throat> and this was individual work, right? We have been working in teams during these days, but this was mostly individual, right? For this um, idea, you had to write the date, right? The product of the service that you will provide a name for your company. All of this was invented, right? You had to invent all the information. The headquarters location, if it was going to be in San Salvador, in La Unión, in Santa Ana, I don't know, right? In Santa Elena, in, in the center of San Salvador. The number of staff employed, right? How many members are you going to have on the staff? The staff job description, only professionals, or people with different um, majors, people with different capacities, people with, I don't know, all types of people that you were going to hire, professionals, people for the warehouse, uh, accountants, etc. How your company will be better than other similar companies. Yesterday we were talking about the, the uh, bookstore, right? On the letters to my students. We were talking about the bookstore and you were mentioning that the booth, the bookstore should be different for, um, from, from all the ones that we have. And here in El Salvador, a bookstore is not a very profitable business, but it, it's always necessary to have a place to go and buy a good book. And the advertising slogan, what is the slogan of your company? Do you know what is the slogan of a very famous company. ¿Me podrían dar un ejemplo de un eslogan de una compañía famosa? El G, life's good. Life's good, yeah. right? Life's good. Any other slogan of famous companies that we know? Uh, in Ironman is Te Hacemos Volar. <laughs> Te Hacemos Volar, right? That's the slogan. Yeah. Very good. The feel good company, it's, uh, I think it's TELUS. That's Bayer. a feel good yes, Bayer. Bayer is bueno. <laughs> Definitely like that, right? Yes, yeah, Bayer teacher. Is bueno. Think human. Yeah, think human. Yes. Which one? Yeah, for sure. Tierno jugos y crujiente. Yeah, but that is the description of Vidri, an adult. donde hay de todo. Donde hay de todo, right? Yo creo Nike, que... just do it. Just do it. Tierno jugos y crujiente es cualquiera después de los 30. <laughs> Crack out. <laughs> good, very good. So, just do it. Nike, very good. What about la curazao? What is the slogan for la curazao? Para vivir qué? Te dan pechada. Mejor. <laughs> no, ese es este. Avisa eh, la pechada. Para vivir mejor. Para vivir mejor, para vivir mejor. Right? mejor. Y RCP. En Omni por es que dan pechada. Ajá. Ah, en, es cierto, ah. sí. en el andeverito. <laughs> o en Sarita. Y, ta, 
<laughs> okay. Uh, another company. What about uh, Burger King? What is the slogan of Burger King? Uh, McDonald's is ah, I'm loving no, it. <laughs> Para vivir mejor Burger King. <laughs> McDonald's. No, a la parrilla sabe mejor. I'm loving it. A la parrilla sabe mejor. I'm loving it, right? I'm loving it. Very good. A la parrilla sabe mejor. It's true. Let me see another one. Eh, let me see. Let me see. Another slogan of famous company. What about Coca-Cola? Does it have a slogan? Cristia, you said something, but I didn't listen. No, I don't remember if Coca-Cola have a slogan. Uh -huh. I, I la think magia de la Navidad. La magia de uh -huh. la Navidad. <laughs> yeah, for Christmas, yes. But yeah, it's like, yeah. for the rest. In, in, in <laughs> Spanish. No, I think, I, uh -huh. I think don't have a slogan. Like it Toma lo bueno. Toma lo bueno, Toma lo bueno. right? Yes. Okay, Toma I lo bueno. I think they change it every year. Uh -huh, they change it right to to keep it to keep it simple and and famous. Yes. What about Hugo? I don't know. <laughs> Lo hacemos por ti, dice. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think well, th those those are slogans, right? The slogans are like these catchy names that you give to your products, right? So that it's a catchy, a catchy thing. Catchy is pegajoso. That you remember it. I mean, either way, you are going to remember it because it's going to stay in your head, right? And then you are singing it there, right? You are singing the commercial, you are singing everything. And you say like, I need to do it. I need to eat it. What about pizza? Do you remember the slogan from Pizza Hut? No idea. Just the roof, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. bajo, bajo el techo rojo, ¿qué? Solo pizza. las mejores pizzas. That's the slogan, right? Bajo el techo rojo, solo las mejores pizzas. So that is a slogan. So you have to invent a slogan for your company. And for sure, the little logo design that it will be something that you like a sketch there. A logo design, it would be like, imagine if it is a veterinarian, a little dog, right? If it is, um, I don't know, a hospital, the Red Cross. If it is uh, an academy, a book or something like that. So that is basically what you have to do with this, uh, with this part of, the business plan that I send you, okay? We are going to do it in a moment. So if you haven't finished it, think about you, the parts that you're going to include and we are going to do it later on, okay? Esa es como la tercera parte de nuestra clase. So let's move on business. Let's move on business for today. And let me see, let me see, my dear students, here I am. Okay, today for sure it's our class number 13. Today is our class number 13. We are going to practice our agreements every day. And for sure, if you need any type of help, remember that we are here to help each other. Tomorrow we are going to work on the platform. We're going to answer all the things about it, right? We're going to advance a little bit on the platform. This week, you have the chance to work a little bit slow, slower, than um, the rest of the weeks, right? Ahorita ya solo nos quedan dos secciones de trabajo que las vamos a desarrollar en estas días que nos quedan, okay? So you have to work on the first parts of the section number three. The class agreements for sure, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on, keep the microphones off if you are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time, participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude and for sure uh, collaborate with your friends on the, on the WhatsApp group. And let me see the last one. <clears throat> Work on the platform every day. And if you have any question, remember to consult, right? Remember to consult your friends in case you have 
any question. Today we're going to talk about the warehouse and the general practice of the business plan. So I hope we are going to have a fantastic class. Highlights about your day, my dear students. We're going to share just for a little moment with your friends. Tell a little bit about your everyday. Hello, Mr. Manuel. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I had a, uh, what do you say? Um, meeting uh, community. Ah, uh, well, a, a community meeting. <laughs> community, community, community meeting, meeting. okay. Meeting. Yes, okay, and that's why I I connect later. <laughs> okay, and just because you have a new hairstyle, I am not going to say it. <laughs> yes. Solo porque anda de nuevo el look, no lo vamos a regañar. Ah, sí. Y esos coqueteos. Ah, <laughs> me, <laughs> uh, today I, 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 I'm happy, I'm happy. Oh, really? To be. Yes, to be. Uh, one more, one more time again with all my my uh, partners. Your, your now you're your friends, your colleagues. My, yes, my colleague, my my colleague, my my friends, my team. Uh, you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I you now. You know what I what I really like from from this group. It's like um. Uh, you get to have this relationship with people. And I really like it that you actually see when a person is not here, when you are missing someone and it's like, hey, falta tal, no, no vino tal, no hace falta tal. O sea, como ayer, por ejemplo, ya decían, no, si es martes, Cristian entra más tarde. <laughs> they, they, I mean, when you remember yeah. those, those details, yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. They were asking about Jorge Humberto. He's like, where is Jorge? And I said, no, he had to do this and this. So it, it I is didn't very see nice. Jorge Humberto. No, he I was traveling. He was traveling. Also with Carito, hey, that she was good. sick. Yeah, we were worried about Caro. And we said, like, hey, oh. Carito, que pasó? Hey. Que no se ca yeah, but it, it is it is a very nice thing. I mean, when you get this social family virtual, but in the end, we are like a, a like a mini team, like a mini family. So that's pretty awesome. Great, my dear students. We're going to share just a little bit about your day. How was it? What did you like the most? What was the most difficult? Uh, if you feel tired or something that you consider important, share it with the group. We're going to have only like three or four minutes for this. We're going to go to work in mini groups and share your highlights about your day. Aquí todos pueden compartir, okay? And asegúrense que todos practiquen al menos eh, una vez, okay? Go ahead. We have groups of five, so it's going to be small groups. Go ahead. We're going to go in groups to share the highlights of the day. Accept my invitation, class. Hello, Danny. Hello, hello, Danny, Anthony. I am going to assign you to a group. Okay. Hello, Mr. Miguel Angel.
Hello, Linda. We are working in groups right now. I am going to assign you to a group. Ahorita ya me había ido para un grupo. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Dani, no sé si le llegó mi invitación para el grupo. Report for, for the Monday. Wow. And this day is so busy for me and my partners. But uh, I think uh, we can do it. Okay. We can do it. This like, again, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Olga, you look tired. Yes, la, la veo bien yes. All, all the team teacher. Uh, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> ¿Qué te uh, puedo decir? I, I have, I have to, to return to, to my house in, in San Salvador and I take one hour of traffic. My goodness. There are a lot of cars in the in the Indeed. country, yeah, I, I think we don't fit anymore. Definitely, Definitely. yeah, no cabe. <laughs> okay, wow. finish finish sharing about your day. I'm going to check if the other ones are working. Voy a ver si los otros están trabajando. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, the around the seven a.m. we uh, we meet at the three parks. In San Martín. <laughs> in San Martín. No, es tres cerditos. The name of the restaurant is the name, right? <laughs> the the three porks. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, teacher, sorry. I uh -huh. thought I was here. Word. No, word. Uh, yeah. Processing. Processing. <laughs> yes. I was I like was processing, processing. The, the three ports. I said like, los tres puertos. And then the porks. I said like, ah. Porks. <laughs> For breakfast. Los tres cerditos. No, but okay. the breakfast there are very good. Wait, it's like around the seven in the morning. When you are talking about the time, you say around seven in the morning, right? Seven in the morning. You don't say the okay. seven. Because in Spanish, it's very common that you say las ocho, las nueve, las diez, la Tatiana, el Juan. We, we usually do that, and that's incorrect. And in English, we don't do it. Okay, continue talking about the trip works. <laughs> the trip works. Keep on working. No, but, but I understand about the, the ports, so I, I was thinking about it. <laughs> like, what is Another he doing with thing. <laughs> Okay, continue. continue. Because, because I didn't know about that restaurant. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's very <laughs> famous. Um, it's a very, um, well, very see, Lord, this is one of the most famous. It's famous. They are uh, opening more, 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 more places. Or branch. Or they, they, yes. are, they are opening more stores or they are, uh, well, they are extending their business. They, they are, are opening another branch. Their business, exactly. Yeah, but the food is good. A little bit expensive, but good. Yes, I like that. Yeah. Okay, finish sharing. I'm going to go with the last group. Perdón. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Ajá. Que estaban hablando que se quedaron callados. <laughs> we were talking about, about, about you. About our day. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you were talking about me. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. And it's, it, was, it was fun because I just entered to, to another room, right? And they say like, and, and I went to the trip work and I was like, where? It's like the trip work. It, it's a oh. this restaurant. Yes, it's a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the trip work and the other one the were like, the what? Okay. <laughs> Los tres yeah. And I say, Porky. it is the little pork. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, it is a very good restaurant. They have a lot of food, a lot of good food. Did you finish sharing about your days? Because we're going back to the main session. Yeah, only last me. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. I know, but my day was busy. I did 
for interviews today and I work a lot and then I have a meeting with my boss and that was all. You had a meeting with your boss? Yes. So you say I had I had a meeting. Oh you had four interviews today. That's cool. Right? Say so only only me is last. It's like I am I am missing, you say. I am missing. Solo yo falo. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the main session right now. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing about your day with your friends. It is always nice. I mean, yeah. Una pena compartida es una pena menos pesada. A veces. <laughs> and it is good. Because it's like, yeah. I did it and it's it's nice. Now, uh, let me see, there you go. I am going to call the attendance so we can start working on everything that we need to do. <clears throat> I'm going to wait for all your classmates to come back. The gossip is good because they don't want to come back. Hmm. You know, what's the meaning of gossip, right? El chambre. The gossip is good. <laughs> the gossip. It's like, that's the gossip. The gossip is good. Ah. Great. So many of you are coming back. I'm going to call the attendance so we can move on the next things that we are planned for today. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay. Carolina Yamilet. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Okay, he hasn't come yet. Uh, Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Manuel Antonio. Hey, Mr. Manuel Antonio, ¿qué se me hizo? Sí, que andaba. Ahí está. 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 Ahí Eh, Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Present. Nelson. Nelson Gavarrete. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Thank you. <laughs> En el musicón, eh. That's good, that's good, don't worry. Silvia Zuleima. It's okay, don't worry. Silvia. Silvita. I saw Silvita a moment ago and I didn't see her anymore. Okay, um, Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Yvette Alvarado. Ivet. There you go. Oh, yeah, I saw you. I saw you. Present. Present. Mar Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. Mr. Omar Francisco. Okay. And Danny Anthony. Dani, uh, Dani está conectando su audio. Me sale ahí conectando con el audio. Quizás está en medio de la tormenta. Okay, good. So let's continue moving on business. Thank you for sharing about the highlights of your day. I really appreciate that uh, you were sharing with your friends. Yesterday we were talking about what? We did some practice on what yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, I lost my mind. Ah, yeah, because my Humberto, yes, because you were not here. Hey, but if whenever, whenever, whenever you have the 
the, I mean, you have an issue or something to attend the classes, remember that they are all uploaded yeah. on the YouTube channel and also on the platform, right? So you have the different uh, videos there. Yesterday we did a practice on vocabulary. We did a practice on vocabulary. We did a little test as well. We were talking about uh, vocabulary for the, uh, the three PLs, right? And we were talking yeah. about we were talking about logistics, a little bit of vocabulary for the warehouse, and we were helping a person with a business. So we did many things yesterday. I called the attendance already, and I have a little activity for today. We are going to work on this little vocabulary building, right? And what you are going to do is to write one word for each of the letters of the alphabet. All the vocabulary has to be related to all the things that we have studied during these days, right? About business, financials, logistics, uh, uh, marketing, any other thing, okay? But you cannot say, for example, banana in letter B, right? It has to be something related to <clears throat> business and finance. Vocabulary. With B, with B. A, B. I have advertised. I gave you the first one, right? Advertise. I need you to write it on your notebook, okay? De la A a la Z. Pongan todas las palabras de la A a la Z en su cuaderno. Tienen que llenar el vocabulario, okay? With um, logistics, vocabulary, marketing, business, finance, uh, office, um, all of these things that we have studied. You can use your notebook, your notes, the manual, you can use any material, but not Google, right? Because that would be very easy. I tengo todas, teacher. Siete palabras de cada letra. No, right? You can teacher. use your you can use your material. Yes. So uh, the words uh, needs to be regarding about the last class. No, no, no. It can be about the last classes that we have had about logistics, marketing, the 3PL, the seven R's. I mean, all this vocabulary that we have been studying, right? Okay, Related so to I, these fields. So so I can't put apple. <laughs> <laughs> apple, apple the for, company. <laughs> for <Yes>. the company. <laughs> but okay, there, are like, there are like others that you can use, right? Okay, okay good. So try to find a vocabulary related to what we are studying, right? You can use the manual, you can business. use your notes, uh, B, business. <laughs> but now that Umberto said about business, oh, you, use, you have to look for another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, business se la robó, Jorge Umberto. The teacher <laughs> So this is the moment on which you say like, ah, qué fácil. And then when you are looking for the word, ¿cuál pongo? <laughs> and then when, when another person says the word, it's like, ay, sí, es cierto. No, se me ocurrió. <laughs> okay. Only one per word, right? If you want to write one or two, it's okay. With each letter of the alphabet.
you all look very concentrated. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, están bien concentrado. <laughs> I, I love that. That's pretty nice. Sorry, I have a problem with my speaker. Don't worry, don't worry. What is the... the... Uh, this word. Which one? Uh, for this example, what ah, is the... <clears throat> the idea, the idea of this is that you create um, a vocabulary bank related to what we have been studying: logistics, marketing, finance, uh, businesses, etc with each of the letters of the alphabet. You can use any type of vocabulary that we have uh, used before. You can use your manual, you can use the classes, you can use all the things that we have done before to create your vocabulary. The idea is that you use one word per each letter of the alphabet. I have one here that says advertised with A, right? So you can look for more terms with A, for example. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to fill up your list. It's a challenging exercise that looks very simple. Este es uno de esos ejercicios que se ven súper simples, pero son bien complicados. <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay, we are supposed to have 26 words. The 26, ¿cuántas llevan? 27. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> the idea of these ones is that you start with the ones that you know, right? The easy ones. 13. And then you complete the 13. Well, you are halfway through. <clears throat> okay. 
Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiser. No, ataca. Okay, Danny is fighting with the audio, it's still connecting. Miguel Ángel, how many words do you have? ¿Cuántas lleva? Mr. Miguel Ángel. Linda, how many do you have? Uh, I have 11. 11, <laughs> well, no, that's good. It's a very good number. It's a very good number. Very good. We are in the middle, in the middle of the 26th. That's good. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, I think three more minutes for you to complete it. Teacher. Yep. Y existen palabras con la letra X. There <laughs> is a word with the letter X. I don't that, find no the, one. That's a challenge. I was, yes, I was reading everything that I take note and I don't find any word with any word with, with X. That start with this letter. <laughs> Neither for C. With but for C, yes. There are there are a couple example, of words with C. For example, uh, but I, I cannot give you the answers right now because we're going to check together. Maybe when someone else has it, but I, I, but I, I have a couple. I, I, I am having problem only with that. With X and Z. I am going to give you the one with X. It is not really common. And I think I am going to give it to everybody, right? And uh, in the terms of, of this one, it's a word that we haven't uh, studied that much, but it is related to a uh, business. And in this case, I am going to give it to everybody that it's X. Because, uh -huh. The only thing that is bring to my mind is a product. Oh yes, <laughs> that one. X efficiency. <laughs> X efficiency, it's the, uh, it's like the type of competition that you have with, with other companies, right? In the X efficiency is the proof that how you are going to be on the standard of competition oh, yeah, 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 yeah. with I'm other fine, companies. I'm fine for letters, for letter Z. Z. Yes, because I have an idea with the X and the Z. <laughs> yeah. This is Xerox, <laughs> the name of yes. the printer. <laughs> 
Yeah, I find a word. You found a word with X. Yes. Okay, very good. And for sure, with the ones on with Z, I have a couple of examples there. And hey, I am going to give you a couple of seconds for you to finish with your with your list. We are going to do some comparison. And um, the most common that it doesn't have that many is with X, right? But I found that one that it's like X efficiency is the level of competition that you can have, right? And for sure, uh, I am going to share it with you right now. I have a list as well that you are going to check. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go back to your group and you are going to compare and contrast right? How are you going to do it? You're going to say, hey, team, I have all the letters, but I don't have this one. And maybe the group has it, or you can discuss together, okay? Or you can do some Google research there on the group, right? But not right now. So we are going to go back to the groups, and you are going to discuss and share with the group about your findings and the group. And for sure, you have to have something for you to compare. It's not like, ah, mi 22 me falta, fíjense. No, right? <laughs> you need to contrast with your group and ask for help in a specific letters, okay? Let's go to the groups right now. I have a couple of people who are not assigned. I'm going to assign one on each room. Okay, Silvita is here. There we go. Okay, compare and contrast with your colleagues. Mr. Miguel. Joven Miguel, le llegó mi invitación para los grupos. Hola, hola. Mr. Miguel, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, I am going to go and check the rest of the groups. So please, if you can hear me and if you listen to me, join the group that I sent you the invitation. With you, which word do you do you use with you? Business with me. With you. With you. Yeah. With you. Con yeah. U. Ah, yeah. with you. Uh, unlikely. Unlikely. Good. Yeah. Expressions uh, of certainty. <laughs> hey, that was very good. <laughs> unlike, unlikely. Very good. Yeah. With Jay? Uh -huh. With Jay? What I do you have with I Jay? I don't Jay. Just? Uh -huh. With Jay? Just? Con Y? No. With J? Ah, with, uh, with J. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't see why. Huh? Sorry. I am like uh, uh, every, <laughs> everywhere. So I was listening to the other. With uh, J? Jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry, the one that we were talking about on the business, right? Jewelry. Yeah. Very good. Job. 
job. Oh. Teacher, with, yes. with X, I I remember I see the word sink in the street. Sink. Sink. With in, in X. In the US. Let's see. It's X I N. G. Like that. I Ah, yeah, 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 X I N G. A, it is like a donut cross or something like that. It's for people. Ah, uh, it's a it's a social media. It's for networking. I I was thinking that word is when the the trail the, the train. But I'm not sure. No, seeing well, X I N G. It's a social media. It's similar to LinkedIn. Uh, it's for networking. Okay. So, but it's a word. It's a very good word. Okay, so, all, all there is X-ray. Uh huh. So you have two with X. You see. Yes, because if one don't. Doesn't uh, doesn't fit. You can use the other one. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Keep on comparing, please, because I need you to have them all. You can also do some Google research right now um, for the ones that you don't have. What? Letter Q. Okay. Uh, Q. Quality. 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 Uh, no worries, yes. Rocio. We understand. Okay, with the letter R. Retailer. Receiving. Mm -hmm. Retailer. Retail channel. <laughs> Retail uh, channel. Good. Very good. Letter S. Sales. 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 Sure. Seller. Sure. Server. Server. Letter, good. Very good. Letter T. Tracking. Tracking. Very good. Tracking. A. Hey, exactly. Tracking. Letter Okay, let it you. Unlikely. Very good you, work, right? You, Unlikely. You for, unfortunately. 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 With letter B. With letter B, I don't find a word. Letter B. I, I didn't find B. any word. Neither. With V? Sorry? Letter V? I, I don't find a word. You didn't find any with V? No. Well, a uh, value. Value. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy. W? With W. Warehouse. 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 Very good. Letter X. 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 X and efficiency. X efficiency, right? X efficiency. X efficiency is what I was telling you before, right? What I was telling you before. The X efficient, right? Okay. Letter X. Extreme as well. Why? Letter Letter y. y. With why? Anything for me. With why? No había antichar. Se acabaron. With no. why? No. Any, any? I can say yeah. yearly. Oh, oh my we, we God. We started man. that yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Yearly. With, okay. Year. Let us see. With I me? find size of product. Size. Well, with S. Paya, la paya, teacher. No, pero ese con S. Pero ese con S. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't find anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> it decides, and I was like, what? Zip code? Maybe zip, zip code? code? Very good. Zip, zip code. code. Hey, Very exactly. nice. For all those that work in call center, mm. what happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about end? Uh, what about the zero interest with Z? Zero interest. 
yeah, it's true. Zero investment as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Zero risk. With N, networking. Uh, yes. Ah, new. I told you. <laughs> okay, no. let's go. I am going to check on the last group. Okay, I'm going to check okay. on the last group. Go ahead. Did you finish? No, teacher, we can we know. find... Which one? Y uh, and V. Y. Y. Yearly. 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 Oh Every God. year. Year, oh, yearly. Let it, okay. um, with it's X, a, I told you the one with X before mm -hmm. we before we leave it before we mm -hmm. leave the, yes, the group. It was like the X. X efficiency. Yes. X efficiency. Yes. Z. Yeah. And with about Z. 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 Zero risk. Zero investment. Oh, I gotta say zero. <laughs> no. Deep code. <laughs> No, people teacher. you work you work in call centers my god the zip code no <laughs> but you work okay. with documents as well zone zone like zona zone oh my god <laughs> you see i was like i teacher go <laughs> i knew it you <laughs> I put yes in, in, in the white. <laughs> yes, I put yours. <laughs> yours? Years. Right, years is the most I... common one. <laughs> Let's, go back. Let's go back to the main session. Hello, hello. Dani ha peleado con el audio toda la clase. Hola, Dani. Y todavía no me escucha. Mr. Miguel, Mr. Miguel. Hey, ahí está. Hey, I was looking for you, Mr. Miguel. Lo andaba buscando hace rato. Hello. Hi. Hey, your 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 eye is still sick. Do you mal to su ojo? Uh, un poco teacher. Yes, se lo veo un poquito malito. Mm. Como le diría a mi hijo? No, se lo toque. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, well. Thank you. Thank you for being back, my dear class. And this was a challenging exercise. It made you think a lot. <laughs> And in some cases, it was something very uh, logical, but uh, in some cases, we forget about the basic things. So as we are, uh, let me see, we are 18 people in the class. We are going to go and say a word per each, okay? We are going to go one by one, and we're going to say one word per each each of the letters of the alphabet. Diana is going to start with letter A. Advertise. Ad another one. <laughs> Come on. I hey. put another one. <laughs> hey, with letter Arrive. Arrive, very good, arrive, very good. Another example for letter A, people. Assessment. Assessment, very good. You can take That's notes. Great. Accurate. 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 Very good. Advantage. Advantage. Very good. Advantage. Apparently. Apparently. Very good. Apparently. One more. What is something that you put in the advertisement? Announce. Account. Announce. Account, good. Amazon. Amazon, yeah, we were using examples about Amazon. Very good job with A, very good. Cristia, with B. Business. Business, more examples with B, people. With B. Bonus. Bonus. <laughs> Bonus. Bulk. Which one? Buyers. Okay. Balance. Balance. Buyers. 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 Very good. Buyers. Benefits. Bank. 
Bank. Good. Beneficial. Very good. With Z, Manuel. With Z. Prison. With Z. <coughs> Con C. Ah, with Z. Oh, I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> Let me say. Who's a what? <laughs> I, I, I have a problem. <laughs> don't my, worry, don't worry. In my audio. Better C, okay. Cargo, control. Cargo, control. More examples? Customer. Customer, Customer country. Consumer. Consumer. Consumer, customer, company. Consultant. Consultant, carrier. Very good, the career. Very good. Excellent. Company. Claudia Maria, letter D. Distribution. Distribution, very good. More examples with D. David, distributor. David, distributor. distributor. Delivery. Delivery, very good. Delivery. Daily. Daily. Demand. Demand. Play. Very good. Fair doubt. Excellent. And debt, right? Debt is like deuda. Jose Carlos with F. Oh, no, sorry, with E. With E. Huh? With E? Ah, the microphone. Economy. Teacher. Economy entrepreneur. Good. Entrepreneur. Another. Employees. Employees. Earnings. Elementary. Earnings. Yeah. Elementary. Equipment. 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 Very good. You see a lot of words with E. Very nice. Yeah, employer, employee, right? With F, it's going to be for Juan de Dios. Factory. Factory, very good. More with F? Financial. 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 Let's see, with G, Tatiana. Grow. Sorry. Oh, grow, very good, Carolina, very good. Uh, Tatiana? Uh, guarantee. Guarantee, very good, the guarantee. But, well, it has like warranty with, with G, right? Because the warranty, there is another one that is with W, right? Hay dos, la garantía no, con G. with yeah. letter with G. With G, warranty, good. Let me see. Uh, another one with G? Goods. Goods. Groceries. Okay, we have growth. Uh, which one, Juan de Dios? Goals. Goals. Very good. Goals. Globalization. Globalization, right? Very nice. Growth, right? Excellent. Olga with H. Ability. Holdings. Okay, holding, yeah. Ability, no, because ability in English is without H. Okay, only that. Okay. Hosting, house. What else? Holding warehouse. Which one? Holding Head. warehouse. Okay, <laughs> the holding warehouse. Good. Headphones. Headphones, right? We were talking about headphones one day. Good, very good. I hiding. Hiding. hiding, good, hire, hiding, good, very helping also. What about Jorge Humberto with letter I? Investor. Investor. Inventory. Inventory. Inventory, very good. Issues. Issues. Invest. 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 Good. Invest. Investing. Investigating, right? Inbound. Inbound, right? Insisting when they are charging you money. With J, Miss Carolina, with J, con J, with J. Job. Job, good, very good. With J? Jewelry. Jewelry, right? Jewelry. Jewelry, la que vendía joyas, si se acuerdan. Que tuvimos un caso ahí al principio de la semana. <laughs> Another one? Mm. 
And there are a few words with J. What about with K, Yvette? Knowledge. Knowledge, very good, knowledge. Another one with K? Keeping. Keeping, very good, keeping. Okay. Not being. E, right? Knowing, right? Knowing. Knowing, good. Let's see, with L, Norma Carolina. Loan. Loan, very good, prestamo, loan. Logistics. 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 Loyalty. Loyalty, very good. With M, Nelson. Money. Money, right, money. Money, money, money. Manufacturer. 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 Marketing Market. manager, very good. Need. Maintain. Maintenance, very good. <laughs> the most complicated word. N, management. management. Sylvia, with N. Net. Net, networking. Networks. Uh -huh. What else with N? Needs. Needs, very good. Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a company, right? Very good. News, right? News, newspaper, mm -hmm. right? What about with O? Linda Yvette, O. Offer teacher. Offer, very good. Offer. Outsourcing. Outsourcing. Very good. Operations. Operations. Very nice. Very nice. With P. Miss Rocio. With P. Primary. <laughs> Primary. Uh huh? Products. 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 Profitable. Profitable. Processing. Processing. Process. Presentation. Procurement. <laughs> Producer, producer, provider, price smart, price smart. Yeah, I said price smart. That was good. Very good. You remember? Very nice. With Q, with Q, quality, quantity, quantity. quantity. Very good. Quality. With R. Retailer. Retailer. Very good. Report. Risk, risk is another one. Very good one. With S. S. Seller. Seller. Salaries. Salaries. Stars. Stars. Service. Service. Okay, I, I, have, I have to make this parenthesis, right? Jose Carlos looks like in a like in one of these horror movies, right? At the back. No. All teacher. the lighting there and everything. Yeah, no, la cosa es que me vine aquí para la para la salita de afuera porque adentro la niña no me deja no, pero me lo, escapo lo, por la este cosa, cuarto las cosas es que de atrás se rayos. le ve como bien chivo los rayos y todo Qué <ríe> de hecho ahí está el jardín ahí atrás Ajá. Yeah. Be careful. Y, y... no me no, usted en el jardín con internet y electrónico ahí Be careful. <ríe> Sí, va a quedar yeah, but, grabado, piche. That was, that was, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but it looks Bajo nice. la lluvia, Sam. Definitely. <laughs> With T. Timeline. Timeline. Offer. Very good. Transfer. 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 Trust. Transportation. 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 Uh, Tracking. 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 Very Access. good. Target. 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 Very nice. With you. Unlikely. 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 <laughs> Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Very good. Undoubtedly. With B. Value. Value. Vendor. Value. Value. Very good. Value. Tax. Very good. With W. Warehouse. Warehouse. Right. Wholesaler. Workspace. Workspace. Very good. Work. Wholesaler. Work, work, and with X, X efficiency, right? I told you with Y, yearly, 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 year, year, year. you, yes, Me. yes, <laughs> yes, and with yeah. Z, with Z, zero risk, zero risk, zero risk, zero risk. zip code. Zip. Right, zip, zip code. code was the most common one for the letter C, right? The zip code. I have a couple of examples here. 
I have a couple of examples. I am going to send you the big picture uh, for you. Advertise annual bankrupt would be boss, budget, business card, cargo, CEO, company, competition, consumer, customer, delivery, right? I have also uh, demand, earn, earnings, e-business, right? The e-business is what what we were talking, like los, los negocios online, employee, employer, spent, export, factory goods, head, headquarters, hired, in the black that we started yesterday, a performance, price, produce, production, report, retail, seller, okay. service, shipping, staff, stock, trade, value, warehouse, etc. right? So most of them, you have them there in your words. Congratulations, my dear students. And for sure, um, I need you to work on these ones. If you haven't finished working on this, I am going to give you some time for you to create it and we can present tomorrow because I really need you to have a, a detailed idea of your business plan. Si no lo terminaron para el día de hoy, Necesito que ya lo tengamos listo para el día de mañana en la clase porque sí le quiero dar como, como a detalle que cada... Eso lo vamos a llenar, teacher. Sí. Sorry. On your notebook, right? You can do it on your notebook and or you can, if you can print it, that, that would be perfect, right? You can invent your company with the date, the products, the name, the headquarters, the staff, the name, the logo, the slogan, everything related to it. You need to have it. Yes, Yvette. No, I sent it to you on the chat today. Hoy se los envié temprano ah, okay. en la mañana al chat. Okay. Grupo. No me venga. Ah, ok. Hey, desbloqueen, mi hombre. <laughs> <laughs> unlock. <laughs> unlock me, please. Unlock. Yeah, unlock me, please. Sí. Please is the teacher. Hey. Wow. <laughs> I am the teacher, I mean, please. Unlock me. Yes, I, I send it to you in the morning. And for sure, we're going to work a little bit on the uh, sharing for today. I have here a couple of questions, right? For uh, the next part of the class that we're going to have, right? And I need you to read all of them, read all of them and choose one, choose one question for you. Read all the questions and choose one for you to answer. Choose one. I have. Uh, let me see. Mr. Jorge, can you help me to read the, the questions? Okay. Do you have your own business? Why? Why not? Uh -huh. What about the next one? Yvette, help me to read the next question. Number two. La segunda. Do you know any anyone who owns a business? If yes, who? Very good. Jose Carlos, read the next one. Well, let's teacher, sorry. Number three. <laughs> okay. What is advert what is advertising? Why it's so important? Why is so it important? Why is it so important? So important. Very good. Nelson, read number four. Sorry, number, okay. Number four. Uh, describe an interesting TV commercial you have seen. Very good, the next one, uh, please. Diana, can you read the next one? Is number it five. easy to uh -huh. make money by having your own business? Very good, Manuel, read the next one. What is, uh, what is a prof profit? What is a profit? How can businesses make a profit? Very good. Juan de Dios, read the next one. What um, a business? Is it an easy way to make money? Very good. Tatiana, read the next one. What are some examples of large international businesses? And the last one, Marlene. Olga Marrene, read the next one. The last one. Is it a restaurant? Okay. Ah, is, a restaurant? is a restaurant a good way to make money? 
Why? Why not? Very good. So choose one. Choose one of the questions. And then I am going to choose a couple of volunteers to give the answers. Remember to take notes about your answers. Okay, choose your answer. Choose one, one of the questions. Okay, let me know when you have it. Let me know when you finish with your hand up, okay? Levanten su manita en la plataforma cuando termine. When you have your answer. Okay, raise your hand on the platform when you finish. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, I have Christy, I have Jorge. Who else? Thank you, I need another volunteer. When I have four, we can start. Okay, we can start with Jorge and Cristian. Okay, teacher, I choose what is advertising. Okay. The answer is, uh, is publicity, is for show your product to the, to the public. To the public, very good. To the public. And why is so important? Uh, I consider is so important because is the is the way to to know and share about the product excellent it's right awesome. it's a way to know your product right why is it so important right important and uh, for sure advertising is the way for you to get to your customers or your clients very good thank you Jorge Humberto very good position about your answer Cristia what is your question and give me your answer Okay, the question that I choose uh, is, do you know anyone who owns business? Mm -hmm. If yes, who? Uh, my co-worker, co-worker, yep. uh, has her own candle companies. Uh, she sells for different type of events, uh, such as bap baptism, baptism, and uh, souvenirs and a lot of 
a lot of events that you want. Okay, <laughs> yes. so she Who has a, ca a candles, candles business. Hey, that's yes. nice. Fantastic. So it is a very interesting business. It has a lot of detail right at the moment of working. What a nice thing. And mm. thank you. Thank you, Christian, for sharing. Yvette, what is your question and share your answer. Describe an Eastern TV commercial you have seen. And uh, the commercial uh, cookies people. Ah, yes. Uh, <laughs> I remember because that. Because it's, it's a funny and interesting story with which you identify a great song, but the cookie is horrible. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the song is nice, the commercial is fantastic, but the cookies are horrible. I, I kind of like them. I, I mean, it's not my top favorite cookie, but yeah, it's like good. The song, I remember the song right now. Yeah, unforgettable commercials, definitely. Thank you, Yvette. Very good. And Diana, last but not least, go ahead. Okay, I, I chose... I describe an interesting TV commercial you have seen, but I didn't describe it. <laughs> I write, I, I've always liked the Coca-Cola commercial, but especially the ones they made for Christmas. Yes. In these ones, they always connect their product with the nostalgia and the love for your family and friends. And of course, Santa Cruz. Ah, yes. They always include it in the, in the Coca-Cola bears. That they are yes. like the, the iconic thing because the, the white birds are very beautiful. I follow one on TikTok. It's very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the Coca-Cola birds. That's very nice. And the, and the Christmas truck. Yes, the Christmas <laughs> truck. <gonna> <laughs> the Christmas truck, it's, it's always there, right? And I need one final volunteer. Who wants to share? Remember Thank that? You. Yes, Tati? Um, I want to share my... My answer. answer. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you know anyone who own, owns a business? Uh, yes. Uh, he's my mom. She has her own business since five or six years ago. I don't remember very well, but she has a natural juice place. And, uh -huh. it's, and its name is Kiosco Saludable Raquelita. She, she prepared a lot of a kind of juice, natural juice, Ooh. and she makes frozen and many things. So, nice. uh, yes, and sometimes when it's my day off, I used to help her. Okay, you go and help your mother. How nice, fantastic, natural juice uh, place. Nice. We're going to look for it. <laughs> Rosia Veronica, yes. tell us. I did. Well, I showed the, the final question about is a restaurant a good way to make money? Why or why not? And my answer is yes, because, well, I think make food is the most profit business because everybody buys food all the time. Yes. Uh, you need to choose the correct product to the correct customer to, to have a, a good business. Very good. Food is always profitable. I mean, people are always going yeah. to eat. I mean, near where I work, there they, they had this little pupusas place and it was just a very little thing at the beginning. Now they have two pickups. <laughs> so it, it, business, food business, it's always profitable. Great. Thank you very much for your opinions. You know, in these cases, when I say volunteers, it is always a good way for you to practice your English. It is always, always, always a good chance for you to practice, right? For you to break out the ice and say like, no, es que me da pena. No, right? Go ahead. Go ahead and do it because here we learn from each other, right? Right now we're going to go to our time to talk. We're going to go to the manual, right? In the manual, we have a, let me share my manual here. On the manual, we have a short conversation about a warehouse, right? And here we have a situation first to start. What will happen? What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? How will avoid overcrowding in how will you avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? 
imagine that a, a very famous place, a very famous store uh, reaches the capacity of the warehouse and they need to continue making products and they need to continue attending clients and customers and producing more. What do you think it might happen if uh, one of these big companies gets to the maximum of its uh, warehouse? What will happen? Say in el almacén, no, no sabemos qué hacer. Claudia Maria, tell me. Definitely Teacher, they have a, I have a question. Okay, uh, go. But Sorry, but, sorry. Wait, Humberto, give me just one second. I'm, I need to listen to the question of Claudita and then I go back with you. Overcrowding is como sobrecapacidad. Yes, overcrowding is like aquí ya no cabe nadie, like the coasters. <laughs> they are overcrowded. And very good. So that's the question. Jorge, go ahead. Uh, consider that if the, they reach the maximum capacity, they have a, a problem. Then they they could uh, uh, use uh, an outsourcing uh -huh. to try to to, to try to uh, to go over the situation uh -huh. to yeah, solve to, to help to solve the problem. Okay, and what do you think, or who do you think it's the uh, the guilty one if this happens? ¿Quién sería el culpable si esto les pasara a una empresa? The logistics department. <laughs> the logistics department, right? Logistics, because uh, it, I think in this case, all the uh, enterprise will be involved. Things, production, like uh, getting the products, uh, when you buy the things, the distribution, uh, the warehousing, the planner, I think it's it's a situation is not like to find a guilty one, but to find a solution in this case. So like in Christmas, right? When you are looking for things in what, in Dollar City and they are storing everything and stocking and stocking. It's like, where are the Christmas trees? And they have it, uh, they are overloading the places with all these things for Christmas. So if it reaches the maximum capacity, for sure, it is going to end up being a problem, right? And here's when the 3PL enters, right? They have to outsource a person and to find a person to solve the situation. They have to hire or to get an extra warehouse for them to keep the products if they are overcrowded. In this case, I have a short conversation about rows and math. And the conversation, it's like this. Okay, I need you to check it out first. Check out the conversation. If you find a new word or new vocabulary. Aquí la tenemos. Vean si hay alguna palabra nueva, vocabulario. And later on, we can go over it. Analyze Sim. it for questions. Uh -huh. Sims. And let me see. Sims. The first part. The, ah. Sims. Parece. And it seems. Parece. Another one. What is the meaning of lying? No lying like Pinocchio, yeah. right? Mentiras. No, like no, no. Dejar. <laughs> Dejar, right? Lying there. Lying, it's like, uh, como que si los ponen ahí nada más. Solo pongo como que si me los dejan ahí tirados, right? If they are left Arrange. lying there, right? Arrange. Arrange. Organize. Agree with someone, right? Arrange is cuando llegas a un acuerdo. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Shipment is cargamento, right? Envío. Uh -huh. Okay. 
outsource is what we have been discussing. Costly. It is costly, it's like a costoso. Very it's, expensive. It's very expensive, right? But the products come first. What do they mean when they say, but the products come first? ¿A qué se refieren con esta frase? El producto va primero. Eh, en the, primer lugar. Uh, yes. The most important, right? But the products come first. It's like, it's like you are... Uh, yeah, it's like an idiom. It's like when you say uh, clients are first or uh, products come first. It's like, no, that's the most important. It's like, I love you a lot, but the products are first. It's like, yeah, I love you and everything, but we need to take care of the products first. So. Uh, teacher. Yes. I think they uh, they need to keep safe the, the products. They need to keep the products safe, right? It is the most important because in the end, I mean, the most important thing that is going to move your company is the products that you are carrying from here to there, right? And the ones that you are producing. Because imagine that you make, um, I don't know, well, the lady who makes candles, for example, they are very fragile and they cannot be just stored right no they have to be very careful they have to be handled carefully imagine if you produce uh, i don't know things made of glass or food or specific things that need to be handled with care or i mean in a very careful way so we need to be very careful with these type of products right a range a range is organized Silvita was asking on the chat. So it says, sir, sir, this is a very formal way to refer to a man. It's like, uh, <laughs> you, use, you use one in Spanish that it's like uh, not very appropriate. They say like, mister, mire. <laughs> All right, that's not appropriate. You say, sir, or leak or inge or whatever thing, right? Sir. We just received received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged, damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. They ask if we had some other warehouse where we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay. Practice with me. Sir, we have we just received a call from the warehouse. Sir, we just received that from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. The last shipment arrived today, and they don't have more space to store our products. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. The last shipment arrived today, and they don't have more space to store our products. They don't have more space to store our products. Okay, that is a very expensive shipment. That is, that that is, a, very, is a very expensive shipment. Oh. That is a very expensive shipment. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Right. Remember that when you have the questions, you need to give the intonation, right? Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Can, can they, they, can they, they arrange, arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Different warehouse? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. They ask if we had some other warehouse we could use. They ask, they ask, they ask if we had some other warehouse, warehouse we could use. 
I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. I will, I will get the documents ready, ready, document ready to outsource to a temporal warehouse. Temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. It, it is, is costly, costly, but the products costly, come but first. Product come first. So but the products come first. Very but good. The come first. But, the co but the products come first. Very good. Let me see. The ladies of my class. Only the ladies. Vamos a agarrar ahorita solo las chicas. Let's see. Boys, get ready. Ladies, go ahead. You start sure. and I'm going to be <laughs> mad. Go ahead. One, two, and three. Only the ladies. Only the ladies. Solo las chicas. Sure. One, two, and three. Yeah. Sure. Sure. We, we just received a call from, from the warehouse. Our space to store our products. Boys? That is a very expensive shipment. No, but all of you, not only Jorge. <laughs> all the boys, todos los chicos, no solo Jorge. One, two, three. One, two, three. Should we use a reserve? That is a very, that is a very, that is a very expensive shipment. Okay, one, two, and three, boys. That is a very expensive shipment. shipment. Our products will be damaged, damaged if they are, are left lying around in the warehouse. Can they arrange for, for the, the transportation, transportation of this ship to a, to a different warehouse? warehouse? Arrange. Yes. Arrange. One, two, and three, Arrange. ladies. Just yes, sir. sir. They yes, asked if we have, have some other warehouse we could use. Where you see? Perfect timing. <laughs> Boys, one, two, and three. I will get, I will get, get the get document it. ready. It's shipment to, to a temporal warehouse. It's costly, it's costly, but the product first comes first. The product first comes first, first, first. <laughs> okay. Boys, you are going to start. Okay. Hoy organizados, por favor, organizaditos todo. Ready? Ready, boys? Okay, desestresense. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. One, two, and three, boys. Sir. Sir. We... No, come on. One, two, and three, go. Sir. 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 We just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived, arrived, arrived today. It seems they don't have more stock. They don't have more stock. Our, our products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do it better. We can do it better. Lo podemos hacer mejor en la otra vez. Ladies. That is that a very expensive shipment. Our products are left lying in the room. They are ready to the transportation of the warehouse. Yeah, good, good. Boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They ask they if we have some other warehouse we can use. Ladies. Very good. <laughs> Claps for everybody. Very good. Very good. Very good job. You did a good job. You did a good job. Yeah. Organization is the one that we are missing, right? We're missing a, a little bit of organization. Juan de Dios and Olga Marleni, go ahead. Sir, we sir, just received a car from the warehouse. Tiene que empezar Olguito si le dijo sir. Sir. Señor. Sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, señor, jefe. Go ahead. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it is seen that they, they don't have more space to store our products. That is very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of these children to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource these children to a temporary warehouse. It's, it is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, so we say that is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. 
can they arrange arrange for transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Warehouse, okay? Yvette and Jose Carlos, go ahead. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and this scene, they don't have more space to store products. That is pretty expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different <coughs> warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly but the products come first. Very good job, very good job. A range, right? A range, remember, a range. A range. A range. Let's go. We're going to have Nelson and Claudia Maria. Sir, yes, we just received a call from a warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shimmer. Our product will have a damage if they are left living uh, anywhere. Can they around for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will have the document ready to us. Uh, Oh, sorry, this uh, shipping to temporal warehouse. It is a uh, costly while the product come first. Come first, right? Come okay. First. In this one, you have shipment, line, line anywhere, arrange, shipment, the sure. outsource, costly, and first. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Very good job. Uh, Let's see, Tatiana and Cristia. In this one you say, Miss, because it, she's not Sir. Miss. Okay. Uh, who is that, right? ISR or? or... Uh, either way. Well, yes, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, Tatiana, you start. Okay. Uh, miss, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today. It and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, miss. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Very good job. Thank you very much. Diana and Jorge Humberto. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Thank you very much. Hey, what a very a business conversation sounded. Say arrange, arrange, arrange. lion. And first, right? But arrange, arrange. And last but not least, we are going to have Silvia and let me see. Manuel, did you fix your problem? Estamos en modo, Manuel. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Silvia and Manuel, go ahead. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the water house. The last shipment arrived today and it said they don't have more space to store our products. That's a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. 
can they arrive for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we call use. I will get the document ready to also the shipment to a temporary warehouse. It's a costly, but the products come first. Very good job, very good job. Thank you, thank you, class. Okay, reactions for your friends, people. You did a very good job, very nice. Okay, there you go, a reaction for your effort. Well, so here, as you can see, we have a big problem, right? We have a big problem because they don't have a space in the warehouse and they don't know what to do with the shipment, right? But they found solutions and that's the best part of everything. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? What happened to uh, Mr. Matt's warehouse? Uh, reached the maximum capacity. It reached the maximum capacity. Very good job. Right, and what could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? Products can be damaged. Products can be damaged, very good, because they cannot be lying anywhere. And what does Matt do about the problem? To use another warehouse. He's going to use a different- Outsource. He's going to warehouse. outsource. Outsource a warehouse. Good, very good job. And I am going to call the attendance people before I forget. Antes de que se me olvide, lo voy a hacer ya. Okay, remember, when you listen to your name, say here. Carolina Yamilet. Carita. La perdimos. ¿Qué se me hizo? No, it's right there. Carita. Carito. Carito me habla en inglés. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Qué bonito se le ve carito. Where are you? Okay, well, let's continue. I have a caro here. Let me see. I will keep on working here. Let me move my. Okay, there you go. Caro, 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 carito. There you go. Eh, hey, Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Present. There you go. I was like, Carito, Carito, where are you? Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Ok, ok. Quiero ver. Ya no, no lo no, ya no me escucho. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivet. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Mr. Miguel Ángel is right here. Nelson Gavarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Eh, okay, Olguita. She wrote in the chat that she was extremely tired. Rocio Veronica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Rosita Beatriz. And eh, Silvia Suleima. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Marlene, she disappeared. Uh, Omar Francisco, he was having issues with the internet, he told me. And Danny Anthony. Danny, he is still having issues with the connection, but he is right here. Well, thank you very much. So we're going to keep on the last part of the night with uh, the vocabulary about the warehouse, right? And for sure, they are going to solve the problem outsourcing a warehouse. And as we have been discussing, right, the warehouse management, and uh, here I have two uh, examples, right? Two definitions of them. 
I have two definitions for this. And the first one that we have here is the warehouse management. What does it refer? ¿A qué se refiere esto, chicos? Is the control of the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse, such as shipping, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. So it's the logistics, right? It's all the process related to the everyday of a company, right? It's the control of the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, and put away and picking goods. Is it the same as a stock control? Let's read it. What is a stock control? Can you help me to read the group, please? It's a way, it's a way to maximize profit to maximize. by getting inventory right. Getting profit profit by getting inventory right. Okay, it's a way to maximize the profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management, it is a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of a warehouse operations. Okay, let's read both uh, definitions and we're going to take out the differences. A stock control and a warehouse management. A store control, right? Let's see, a stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory getting right. Inventory right. And, and warehouse, warehouse management mm -hmm. is a way to maximize efficiency and effectiveness of a warehouse operation, right? Warehouse management is just a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness. But stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting the inventory right, right? The stock control is the one that it's going to help you to know every single thing that you have on a stock, right? Because the warehouse management, as we have it there, is the control of the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse. Eso es todo lo que pasa en el día a día. Más allá del stock control. El stock es más relacionado a los productos, right? The warehouse management es más como la logística de la, del almacén. The shipping, receiving, put away, and picking up products. And in this case, I have two definitions here. Can you help me to read the two definitions that I have here? Let me make it bigger here. These two. The first one. It tells you. It tells you where the items are and are in, sorry, and the order in which they need to be picked. And the next one, it means you know, means you know how many of a particular product have you have to order more. Right? These are two very important things about the warehouse, right? It tells you where the items are and in the order on which they need to be picked, right? And it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. So do you think number one is more related to warehouse management or stock control? Warehouse management. Warehouse management. Warehouse management. Warehouse management. Because they say they, uh, you even know when the Which items need to, need to be picked. To be picked. It is for a way. Maximum efficiency. Very good job. And the second one, it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. This one is going to be related to? Getting in by stock control. To a stock control because you stock are control. going to get the inventory, inventory right. right. Inventory right. <laughs> I, I read a meme today that said like, it is called inventario porque te lo inventas. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's called it is called Teacher. inventario because you you keep track of everything. Yes. I think stock control is a management by a software. For example, oh. SAP. Exactly like that, right? They have these specific programs for them to know how many of each thing do you have. Because imagine if you do this by hand, if you do this on paper. Do you think it's beneficial for the company? No. No, right? It would be like, it's, jefe, aquí lo tengo en un papel. It's inefficient. Permita. <laughs> no, right? Imagine if you have 3,000 products, it would be like, maybe not, right? Les puse un postica cada uno. 
that would be really, really, really bad. So I have here three types of warehousing and also some other definitions. This is the last activity we're going to do today. It says holding warehouse, distribution center and cross docking center. And I have here three definitions. What I need you to do is to check on the three definitions that you have and which one do you consider more um, appropriate for each of the definitions, right? Holding warehouse, distribution center, cross docking center, sorry for my... Mi anunciadora, tengan <laughs> Sorry. And here I have the three definitions, right? Kiara quería estar en clase ahora. I have the three forms. It can be named a terminal or something, a sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. The next one. That would be a distribution. We're going to check. Traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. And the last one, it serves larger regions and goods are stored shorter uh, time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation of orders. Which one do you, con do you think belongs to which one? Huh? The number one. Number one, holding warehouse. What is a holding warehouse? It's a traditional warehouse. Is it traditional? Warehouse. Or, it, or it serves larger regions? Uh -huh. I think it's, it serves larger regions. Good that is stored short time. But it's a shorter time. It serves larger regions. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> analyze it, analyze it. Read the three of them. A traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. It can yes. be a holding, a warehouse, holding warehouse, That a distribution center. What can be a distribution center? Uh, the terminal or exactly. shopping center. Okay, so a distribution center is the terminal or sorting center because it distributes. It's the terminal of the products, right? They focus only on receiving and shipping the distribution, right? They just get and give out. What about the cross docking center? What do you think it's a cross docking center? Uh huh. Any any idea, or do you keep the same definition? It serves large. It serves yeah, large. large. I think it's for a store shorter time. Okay, so I am going to leave you the homework there. This is going to help you a little bit for investigation. Tomorrow we are checking on the platform, okay? We're going to check on the platform and this the this definition, I think it's on the first example there on the platform. So we're going to go the holding warehouse, distribution center and cross docking center. Esos son las tres definiciones que vamos a investigar. Holding warehouse, distribution center and cross docking center. And so we can compare with the answers that I am going to give you in the next class. My dear students, it's the moment for you to go to sleep. Remember, we have the homework for the business plan and that will be done tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. I'm going to stay a couple of minutes with Mr. Nelson. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, Bye Rosie. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ask. Mr. Danny Anthony, llegamos al final de la clase y le siguió peleando con su audio. Y don Mr. Miguel, que siga mejor. Bye, Mr. Miguel. Creo que ya está dormido. Está mimido. <laughs> está dormido. Se quedó conectado. Mr. Miguel, we finish.
Mr. Miguel. Well, he's going to stay here. Hello, Mr. Nelson. How are you? I'm very good. Okay, Nelson. In general, how have you felt in classes? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en las clases? Good. Es, uh, bueno, perdón, casi, yo no mucho me puedo expresar en inglés. No, but try, try, go ahead. You have improved a lot. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Usted puede, vamos, Miguel. Vamos, Miguel, Miguel. El Miguel. Eh, perdón, ya me puso perdón. Miguel. No, es que estaba leyendo a Miguel que no me desconecta. Vamos, Mr. Nelson. Usted puede, vamos. Yes. Uh, How have you felt in class? Good. Have you have you had any difficulty to understand the topics? Se le ha dificultado los temas o le han gustado, los ha entendido? And that's the, uh, sí, he entendido bastante. La verdad que sí. He sentido que he entendido un poquito más por dar eh, quizás los temas yo como que me sirve más este le, lo leído que pronunciar, que escuchar, eso es lo que me que le, que le no, but it's, it's nice. I mean, the idea is that you continue improving. The idea is that you continue getting better and better every day because what I have seen during these days that we have been together, esos 13 días que hemos estado juntos, I have seen an advancement on your speaking, right? Yo he visto una mejora en su manera de expresarse. Okay, al principio lo sentía bien dudoso, que mejor no participo, mejor eh, me quedo, eh, mejor que lo haga otro. Y ahora me gusta que ya está como más, más suelto, más participativo, más, más como... Ahí voy y todo, vea. So, I think that... Que, sí, uh -huh. la verdad que sí me, me gusta el inglés. La verdad que tengo muy poco estudio en inglés, lo más está noveno grado y... Yo estudié como allá por el 96, la última vez que estudié. <laughs> so, a couple of years... <laughs> Ah, like ay, la mayoría veo que pueden mantener una conversación. No sé, hasta cómo, no sé cómo he llegado hasta aquí, pues la verdad. Ahí he, he venido. <risa> Then, eh, okay. y, en, y en parte de eh, PNIT, en inglés para el trabajo, eh, ya, tiene, ya tiene varios módulos. Sí. ¿Cuándo empezó tengo, con esto? Desde el año pasado estoy con esto. Como allá ah. por... Sí, ya tengo un año estar aquí. No, pero you sí. So, did you have advanced a lot because I can see that you understand the topics. I can see that you understand the topics, that you understand the vocabulary and everything. The only thing, Mr. Nelson, that you have to work on is to develop a little bit of confidence. The confidence at the moment of speaking. I think that's the only thing that you are missing. Creo que la, la práctica es la única que le falta. Esa confianza al momento de hablar, el, el que no le dé pena. And, okay. and you told me something very important. Yo veo que los demás me dice pueden tener una conversación. La pueden mantener. Ajá. But it's okay. You go on your own piece, right? Usted va a su propio ritmo. Y lo importante es que lo haga. Que se desarrolle. Que no le dé pena. Y que pues lo intente. Siempre, siempre, siempre. Cuando yo pido un voluntario. The first one. Me, Nelson, right? And I try to correct, right? I try to correct every time that you participate. I try to correct uh, whatever thing that you say, right? And I say like, no, this one, this one. So the best thing that you can do is to practice, right? To repeat, to, uh, okay. for example, if I correct one word, uh, repeat, right? Por ejemplo, okay. le estaba corrigiendo arrange, right? Arrange. You have to arrange, arrange. Right, and don't feel ashamed. Que no le dé pena. Que no le dé pena. Okay. ¿Sabe una muy sí, buena práctica? En, Ajá. en la pronunciación se me cuesta bastante. Hay, hay palabras que no las puedo pronunciar. So, but you see, as you have the manual, como tiene el manual, ¿verdad? Tiene el manual de inglés. Yes. Okay, what you can do is to start reading. Empieza a leer y váyalo leyendo todo, todo, todo en voz alta. Right. Ah, Vaya okay. leyéndolo todo en voz alta. Ahora hay muchas opciones, por ejemplo, en, 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 en internet. Usted pone, por ejemplo, la pronunciación de una palabra, la pone, imagínese que le pone arrange pronunciation. Y ahí le uh -huh. da hasta el sonido de cómo se pronuncia. Ah, ok. okay. Y so, me, emocion, me, me emocionó esto bastante realmente porque uh, alguien me, me pasó una aplicación de, de un juego que se llama, ya se me he dejado de jugar bastante tiempo de eso. Teresa Duolingo. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a very good thing, yes. right? That's a very good practice, right? But practice every day, every day, right? Practice a lot. Yes. And if you have, for example, the manual, no, de la racha. <laughs> uh -huh, it's good. So if you don't, if you don't uh, lose track of this, because the problem is that in some cases you get very excited, right? Uno se emociona y empieza, pero lo deja. Yes. Y de ahí al yes. rato lo retoma y lo vuelve a hacer. So, sí, but, a veces por el tiempo también cuando trabajando a veces cuesta. I es know, real. I know, it's, it's very difficult. Sí. Solamente tengo una pregunta, dice, yes. en lo que es la tarea, en la tarea 3.5, dice que es, en, dice, really the greenhouse is you well happy the corresponding uh, punctuation. Creo que es uh -huh. la puntuación, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Yes, let me see. I am going to open the platform. La voy a abrir ahorita. Mm. Voy okay. a abrir ahorita la plataforma para que la podamos ver. No, but that is a good uh, practice. 3.5. Okay. 3.5. Eh? Read, read the warehouse issues below. Apply the corresponding punctuation. Ok. No, no. Lo que okay. tienes que poner es la, la, las comas, los puntos. Ok. Ah. You, need to, you need to fix it. Right? For example, here. I am going to, to share it here. Let me see. Aquí lo tienen para corregirlo. Lo que tiene que hacer es corregir la puntuación. Right? It says, we remove items from cartons and packages. As a result, pickers are not able to find them where they need to. And it says, uh -huh. we remove items from cartons and packages, punto y coma. As a result, mm -hmm. coma, pickers are not able to find them when they need to, period. Okay? As mm -hmm. a result, because of, as you have here uh, in this connector, right, as a result, Right, you need punto y coma antes y después coma, right, as a result. And here, mm. another option that you have is we remove items from cartons and packages, punto. As a result, coma, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. So you have these two options, right? Le puede poner punto y as a result en mayúsculas y coma y de ahí sigue. The next one, it says, the uh, vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items, and rebox them. If you have mm -hmm. the option. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Punto y coma, consequently, coma, o puede ser in a single box, period, consequently, coma. Okay? Después de que uh, okay. está el conector aquí en este caso, consequently, Punto antes y coma después. Y el mismo es para ah. la siguiente, right? And it says okay. the warehouse okay, doesn't, okay, have, okay. doesn't have enough, enough ducks. Punto, warehouse, uh, therefore, right? We, therefore, coma, we have to put products in the aisles. And the last one, the conveyor belt broke as, and as a consequence, there is not enough stuff. Okay, the conveyor belt broke. Le pone punto. As a consequence, mm -hmm. coma, there is no enough stuff. And the last one, we mm -hmm. have a mouse in the house, coma, or period, aquí le pone punto, therefore, the coma, we should get a cut, okay? Si no, okay. antes del conector, punto y coma, y después coma, okay? Pero el más común es que le pongamos punto a la oración, de ahí el connector, therefore, y de ahí la coma. O sea, el más común es poner punto antes del conector y después del conector una coma. Okay? Una coma. Ajá. Ok. That's the most common part. Ok. That's the most okay, common sí. part. As a result, consequently, right, consequently, the other one is therefore, and let's see, therefore. Those are the connectors that we use in the, in the sentences. Estos nos sirven para unir la oración. Ok. Wow, ah, ok. La okay. puntuación. Entonces, yes. la que Ahí es la puntuación, es la que hay que arreglar. Ok. In this one. Ah, And... que creo que, bueno, yo comencé a hacer las primeras, pero solamente con lo que era la. Eh, solo con puntos, no he usado coma. Ah, it's ok. So, póngale el punto, después del conector, coma. coma in this okay. one, you have to select the. You have to select the issues. And in the first one, it's what we were doing today. Warehouse uh -huh. management, stock control, distribution center, cross docking yeah, center, cross the warehouse, center, right? Warehouse, sí. This is the one that we were doing today, right? Sí, de, de leerlo y, 
It tells you where the items are and in order in which they I mean, need to they be picked. To be speaking. Then a stock control. How many of a particular pro product you have? The distribution center, the cross docking center, and the warehouse. The distribution center. Aquí está la tarea que les dejé. It serves larger regions and goods are stored for a shorter time. Lo ha dejado ahorita, ¿verdad? Ajá, esa fue la que le dejé ahorita. Que busquen que era distribution center, que era cross docking center. Ah, cross docking center, it can be like a terminal or sorting center. Ah, right? Okay. And the warehouse is a large building where raw materials are manufactured. So you get the, the three... Uh, answers for the homework. <laughs> Aquí ya se lleva las respuestas de la tarea. Okay, <laughs> so it is important to complete it. And this one is the punctuation. And this one is for uh, the, you select an option, right? Rank the issues from one to five. The one that affects okay. productivity and the one that less affects productivity. We're going to check on these ones tomorrow. This is the, the, the topic for tomorrow, okay? So, okay. uh, I don't know if you have any other question, Mr. Nelson? No, yo creo que casi la terminé, creo que esto le se me falta. Okay, ya good. Terminé. So, remember Nelson, uh, reading aloud. Eh, cuando agarre el manual, agárrelo desde la página 1, por ejemplo, y vaya lo leyendo okay. todo, 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 todo y lo va leyendo en voz alta. Le puede servir mucho para okay. su fluency y para su confianza al momento de hablar. Okay? That's ah, a very okay. good tip. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you for these minutes that you gave me. Thank I am you. going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a nice night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.